In today's video, we're going to take a look at the RRSP gross up strategy, and we're looking at Bob and Jill. And Bob and Jill are contributing $10,000 a year to their RRSP, and we can see they have an, a shortfall here. Now, Bob's like most people. He contributes $10,000 to his RRSP, and when he gets the tax refund, the money comes in and it goes to his bank account, and he just doesn't really know where the money's going. And if he comes in and he decides next year, you know, he put the $10,000 in, but he wants to take it back out, if he takes the RSP money out, he's going to be left with um, $6,702. So basically, he took $10,000 and turned it into $6,700, which is one of the reasons why when you make an RSP contribution, you want to leave the money in there, you know, so it has time to grow and compound tax-free. But there's a better way to make an RSP contribution, and it is called the RSP gross up. And what you want to think about is <clears throat> how much money does Bob have to put in to get his $10,000 back if he wants to take it out next year? And that's when you use the formula. <clears throat> and the formula is it's your RRSP contribution times your marginal tax rate divided by <clears throat> 1 minus your ta marginal tax rate. And you can see the example here. So when we apply that formula, Bob has an extra $4,922 a year that he can contribute to his RRSP. And it's not really costing him anything, it's just spending the refund. Now you might say, well, what if Bob doesn't have that money? That's okay. He'll just go and borrow it for a month. In February, the end of February, borrow the money, put it in. When you get your tax refund, just pay off the loan. It doesn't cost anything. Not really. So let's take a look at the difference of the two strategies. Here on this side, we've just made the $10,000 RRSP contribution. And we can see that retirement, um, they got to about 2050 Over here on this side, where we grossed up the RRSP contribution, you know, we got to about 2059, um, if I can get my cursor on there. So we got about an extra nine years out of doing that strategy. And you know what? It didn't really cost Bob any extra money. He just made better use of the tax refund. Um, and the other thing I'd say, you know what, if Bob isn't going to do the gross up, he's probably better off to do tax-free savings accounts. So, but that's for the next, another video. So, you know what, if you enjoyed this video and you think you'd like to run your situation through our decision-making simulator, just give us a call or send us an email. Thank you.